Marshawn Lynch wasn't always who you thought he was. Stay tuned for details right after this. Hey, welcome to The Bumble. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already. And join the notification squad for updates on all your favorite athletes. I'm your host, Britt Johnson. You can follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson. And I am the happiest woman in America right now because the NFL is finally back. Regular season kicked off this weekend and I couldn't be more excited. Well, actually, I could have been a little bit more excited if my Dallas Cowboys Started the season off with a W, but that's a whole nother topic. What's a girl to do? Sunday night's Bears vs. Packers game proved to be what rival game dreams are all about as the two battled it out in the second half with the Packers making a crazy comeback to win the game 24-23 over the Bears. Yet still, the NFL season opener wasn't over. Monday night, four teams battled it on the gridiron. The Jets blowing out the Lions 48-17 with the Jets scoring the most points on the road in franchise history. And game two was the return of head coach John Gruden, who took a 16-season hiatus from the game. Gruden returns to the headset as the head coach of the Raiders, who opened their season at home against the Los Angeles Rams. Prior to kickoff, the national anthem was sung, and all eyes were on Marshawn Lynch, who remained sitting despite the new NFL rules, which states if a player doesn't want to stand for the national anthem, then he must remain in the locker room. Lynch was the only player who sat during the national anthem on Monday night, but he wasn't alone. Three Miami Dolphins players, Kenny Stills, Albert Wilson, and Robert Quinn also supported the protest during the national anthem prior to their game on Sunday. Kneeling or sitting for the anthem in protest of police brutality has opened up a huge debate in the NFL since it was first done by Colin Kaepernick when he was on the 49ers in an attempt to raise awareness on the injustices in this country after several black unarmed men and children were killed by police officers unjustly. Marshawn Lynch has previously stated that he, in fact, has never stood for the anthem, and it only became a big deal because people are protesting something, not that they believe these individuals are disrespecting the troops. Shortly after the anthem, Lynch silenced his haters with a touchdown showing he can't be stopped. Literally, check this out. Lynch, testing the middle and getting a push right through. Well, damn, now that's what I call beast mode. The Raiders fell to the Rams in the second half, and late in the fourth quarter, the Oakland Raiders had a chance to make a comeback when Rams cornerback Marcus Peters picked off Derek Carr and took it all the way to the house, all while trolling the man he calls his cousin, Marshawn Lynch, with this move. Strutting his stuff and backsplashing in. Ah, the infamous hold my celebration that none other than Marshawn Lynch started himself. Oh, and Marcus Peters wasn't the only one that was able to troll Marshawn for the night. This photo of young Lynch was released by ESPN, and well, the internet always wins. The memes went in one person writing, Marshawn Lynch looked like a whole insurance agent in high school. Another saying, real life versus LinkedIn. And this one, walking out of that chemistry test like, these are epic. Why don't you guys head to the comment section now and leave a comment on what you think of Marshawn Lynch's high school photo. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe to The Fumble, and shop The Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson, for The Fumble, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>